Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I am doing my draw with me, paint with me. I am doing mermaid. I'm doing mermaids. Um, you can kind of see a pencil outline of one that I have put into fashion here. <laughs> Her tail is in a knot. <laughs> it's just the mood I'm in, and you can see like my lighting is really wonky right now. Um, it's getting lighter later, so please just bear with me and. And I have gone back to inking. I am using an 05 Micron pen. I am having a lot of fun with this style. I think I keep switching sort of illustration painting styles during this challenge because I think I'm bored, which sounds horrible. Like you get out what you put into it. And I think this is my fifth year doing this drawing challenge and I think next year I will be doing something else. I do love mermaids. Mermaids are a lot of fun. Um, our youngest daughter was absolutely obsessed and consumed by them. Loves them so much. Um, so I've kind of gone through and drawn a abnormally large number of them anyway just for her while she was uh, much younger and went through a whole phase where she wanted me to draw things for her to color in, like make my own coloring books for her and stuff. So I've drawn a lot of mermaids anyway. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm getting at right here, is I have drawn my share. I've done my fair share, and I think it's time that next May I come up with something else. Um, I think that's where I'm at and I think that's exciting and fun so I look forward to that for myself for next May. Um, I'm going to be varying up my line thicknesses but I wanted to kind of outline this just so you could see it a little bit better but yeah I have tied her nail her tail into a knot. There are tons of different types of knots. Um, if you go into your favorite search engine and sort of type in rope knot, you will get a bunch of really fun ones that can kind of give you an idea of how they're supposed to be laid out and sort of folded into each other for illustration ideas and inspiration. Um, we do camp and backpack and stuff but standard knots have always seemed to be adequate and we've never had to go, on, go like super fancy with anything. Um, so I think that's just luck maybe. But I know there's specific ones for different things like sailing has its own set of knots and stuff. So that's, that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna make her tail sort of fall down. And then I'll probably splatter paint at the bottom like it's drip drying or something. Anyway, how is Thursday treating you? I apologize if it's still loud. <laughs> the kids haven't left yet. They are going to the beach today but it is super gray and like overcast and cloudy, but that doesn't, that doesn't stop my babies. So, I'm gonna have her hair kinda over the shoulder here. So I may not actually get to any painting on this video, in which case I apologize, but you know, just kinda, I have to kind of spice it up for me, or if I get bored, then then it's to my detriment. So, so I don't want that, but I do want a little bit of maybe neckline. All right, so there is sort of the initial lining. Now I'm going to vary the line widths because I don't like all my lines to be the same. And I may even make it look like there's double lines and sloppy lines, because I like the look of that too. 
um, it's a stylistic design choice, an illustrator choice. Um, I don't know if you can hear that in the video. <laughs> uh, that's my kids. Anyway, so I hope your Thursday is going amazing. If you are having a tough time right now with things going on in the world, where you live, locally, globally, it's okay to unplug and tap into your feelings and take a second to, it's okay to be done with that, you know? It's okay to take a break. The news isn't going anywhere. <laughs> so, there's that. It can be a lot. It can be a lot. Have good coping mechanisms in place for receiving bad news. That helps. Um, doing art, putting your thoughts and feelings on paper. She is in a knot, hence is my stomach when I check the news. So yeah, so I'm kind of putting it out there. It's subtle, um, but my feelings do go into my illustrations. And I don't mind that. I think that's one of many, many ways to process feelings and emotions and stuff that's going on. I love art. I love art so much. When I go to do this sketchbook tour though, this is going to be the most inconsistently consistent <laughs> tour of, wow, nothing looks like anything else. The only thing sort of binding and keeping this together is the fact that they're mermaids. And one of them may not even be. So, you know, sometimes we're in the mood for that. I did one that's kind of nautilus shaped and I don't, you can't see a tail, so it's kind of hard to say whether she's a mermaid or not. One could argue. I'll leave it to you to decide. But I like her. Anyway. This is just a fun illustration wonky style. And I'm probably going to do her in like May green. Some bright colors and then some more moodier colors. Some darker greens. She'll probably be fairly monochromatic. Lots and lots of greens. And then I'll have some sort of teal, like a as green to blue as I can get will be the drops that sort of are dripping from her tail. And that will be what the end of the illustration looks like. <laughs> my, my kids, <laughs> my babies. They are looking for all their socks and beach gear. And you know what? It's just not at my desk. Like I have to tell them that's, I'm not hiding your beach bucket in here. I do not have your bodyboard. All right. I find big bodies of water like the ocean and rivers and lakes and stuff so calming. Like it's such a meditative thing, large bodies of water. It's so relaxing. And today our wind changed direction. So it wasn't blowing from our trees because a lot of times it smells like it's camping where I live. But today it definitely smelled more like ocean. And oh my goodness, I just wanted to take a nap. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, that's relaxing. That's what I need in my life. The smell of salt water. I have been known, because I get chilled, I have been known to go to the beach in snow boots. <laughs> Which, if you want a good leg workout, I'm going to tell you right now. Hiking in sand is a excellent workout for the legs. Um, yeah. Especially when the sand is really, really cold. Oh my goodness, I can't with that. So, I have time to add a little, little bit of paint. We will just get the basics in here. 
And I am using my Schmincke set, my 36. I'll link everything in the description box. Yeah, she's gonna be lots of fun greens. I'm having a green moment today. Yesterday, my mermaid was a little blue. The day before that, she was very sort of potter's pink. So that'll be fun. And then I just need to make sure that I have good highlights. I have good shadow and some sort of patterning on her. Maybe there will be more defined scales, things like that. <laughs> I can hear my kids laughing. Oh, babies. Okay. Anyway, I hope your day is going well. I hope if you are having a tough time that you take a break and you take a moment to center yourself to find some things that relax you and make you feel good. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.